Hello everyone, welcome to Promine's AutoCAD tip of the week. This week we are going to cover a very useful trick to manipulate meshes in AutoCAD. In this particular example we have some meshes that represent the 3D modeling of some drifts in an underground mine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the view to uh, shaded in order to visualize this better so we can see that there is a ramp that is intersecting a drift in a specific level of this underground mine. So what we can see is that this intersection uh, doesn't happen smoothly. So there is a misconnection in between those two drifts. So what we want to do is to modify the mesh in order to have that connection better. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the Gizmo tool of the mesh panel in order to do that. Uh, so to get the mesh panel, we need to be in the workspace 3D modeling. So we are in 3D modeling workspace. I'm going to go to the mesh tab. And within the mesh tab, we're going to have the selection panel. In the selection panel, you can uh, define the gizmo that you want to use. If you want to move a specific object, could be a face, an edge, or a vertex, or you want to rotate it, or you can scale it. In this case, we want to move. And here in filter, you can select the type of object that you want to move. If you want to move a vertex, an edge, a face, a, or a particular component of your drawing. So in this case, we want to start moving an edge. So I'm going to say edge, and I'm going to start by moving this edge. When I click on the edge, it shows me some planes and axes, depending the way I want to move that edge. In this particular case, I just want to, as you can see that the other mesh is below. So I just want to move it vertically. So I select that axe vertically, and then I, I select where do I want to move it. In this case, I want to move it to this elevation here. So now that I move that edge, I can start moving some vertices. So in that case, I will then select the auction vertex here. I click here and select vertex, and I can start moving my vertex. So I'm going to move, for example, this vertex. So I can do the same. I could select like a specific edge where I want to move or any plane. So in this case, I want to move it directly to the connection with this other point here. And I will do the same for this other vertex vertex that I have here. So I will move it precisely to this place here. So I can start modifying other vertices as well. For example, I'm going to move a little bit to this area and I'm going to start moving, uh, for example, this, vert this vertex here. And I'm going to do the same for the other vertex that I have here. For example, this one, I'm going to move it a little bit to this part here. So I will do the, pr the same with this other one. So I'm just going to rotate it a little bit to visualize it better. So I'm going to move this vertex that I have here. I'm going to move it to the intersection with the other one here. So finally, I'm going to move this last one here. So I can then have it properly uh, intersecting with the other mesh. So now we can see that the connection between the two meshes, the drift and the ramp, occurs very smoothly. So now we have a good connection. So in this case, we use the move option and we move some uh, edge and vertex, but we can also move faces or uh, any component on the drawing. For example, if I choose the option face, I can select any face and I can start moving in a specific edge axis. So for example, I can move that face that way, etc. So as you can see, this is very useful to uh, manipulate uh, meshes in order to correct some 3D modeling that we could have. So this concludes this uh, week's ProMinds AutoCAD tip of the week. If you have comments or suggestions, let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.